the purpose of the presentation today is uh, to explain you about network infrastructure concept because I don't want to start talking about networking before you understand the concepts of networking and uh, there are a few basic information that you need to know about networking so this network topic is going to involve many presentations I'm not going to take a two hours presentation but I'm going to make a few presentations but not only do the presentation what I really like is for you to understand the presentation which that means I expect you to ask questions online class is the same as on site when you come to a classroom you have a teacher in front of you it's the same thing there is no difference as a as an instructor I will expect you to ask me question because in order for me to understand that you get the information that I'm providing you have to ask me question if you don't ask question I assume that you understand so today I'm going to talk about Ethernet standard I'm going to talk about the different type of network I'm not going to talk about a lot of network device in that presentation maybe tomorrow the next presentation you're going to receive will have a lot of a lot of um, topic about the different component that you use but today I'm going to focus only on the cable and uh, whether or not you're going to get involved with small office network or you're going to get involved with large enterprise network. I want you to pay attention and, and as I said, if you have any question, you can email me or you can make comment right on the virtual classroom because when you do that all the other students in your program will be able to take advantage of it it's like when you are sitting down in the classroom and ask me question the other student in the class will take advantage of your question so feel free to ask to make the comment right on the virtual classroom or you can email me your question but if you email me a question, I, I, I believe that question will be in the interest of all the students. I might go and um, share your question with everybody else. So, in this topic, network infrastructure, first we're going to talk about wired network because we have wired network and we have wireless network. So the first thing we're going to talk is about wired network. So everything I'm going to say in that presentation will be related to wired network. We, by the end of this presentation, I want you to understand the different network type. And um, I want you to understand also the different Ethernet standard. Ethernet is the technology that controls local area network. And uh, I'm going to talk about the implementation of the most common Ethernet network. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about home office and enterprise network. So this is what we, we want to accomplish in that presentation today. Again, I'm going to ask you, if you have any question, like you would ask me in a, in a physical classroom, you're welcome to ask any question in the virtual classroom. So, a network, anytime you have two or more computers connected together, you have a network. 
Why do you have a network? Because you have now in a large organization, you may have to share a point between many different employees. And there are times you may need to share a database between all your employees. And they have a lot of work you can do together. You can have a team working in a project together using the network. So networking is very important in a business today. If your business or your organization want to stay competitive, they have to have a good network. They have to maintain the network. And as an IT technician, this is your responsibility to make sure that the network is uh, fast, the network uh, is uh, reliable, and the network is scalable. So this is going to be your responsibility as a network technician. This is the reason why I want you to understand this topic. So we have many different types of network. We have LAN, L-A-N, which is the local area network. We have wireless local area network. As I said, everything I said today is going to be about uh, local area network and is going to be about wired network. Since wireless local area network is part of a program, so I want to identify all the type of network so you understand. It's not only, you're not going to have to deal with only local area network. You're going to have to deal with wireless local area network and uh, more especially wide area network. A wide area network is when a business have many locations. Like if we consider a business like Target or, or Boston Public School, does institution have network local area, local area network in many locations so if you have a business that have local area network everywhere in the state or in every state when you connect all those network together you have a wide area network so first every location will have their own area network and the fact that all the business together do the same operation. So this is what gives us the biggest advantage today is the fact that we can monitor how our business is doing in every location because all the business are connected together. So a wide area network is one you connect many local area network together. We have metropolitan area network. Metropolitan area network or men is about the same as a wide area network. The only difference, a wide area network covers a larger geographical area. So for that reason, I was talking about if you have a network like that serve a business that cover many different states, you have a wide area network. However, if you have a business, like let's say Boston Public School, they have school in almost every neighborhood of Boston. We have school in Roxbury and East Boston. We have school uh, in um, South Boston. We have a school in Dorchester. So each of these schools, they have a local area network. When you connect all those networks together, you're going to use the same technology as if you want to connect local area network from different parts of the state of in many different states. So the only difference between a metropolitan area network, a metropolitan area network is a network that covers a city or small town surround a big city. Like if you have a network in Everett, a network in Milton, a network in Boston, this is a metropolitan area. And, and some people consider the metropolitan area much larger than that because almost every city around Boston is considered part of the metropolitan area. So the metropolitan area cover a smaller geographical area than the 
wide area network or whether you use the same technology the same practice whether for the men or for the women because they both connect many different networks from many different locations so the operation of the the business can be global can or can be larger than having only one location so for business that have location everywhere in the city they will have a metropolitan area network for business that have network that have business location everywhere in the state or everywhere in the country this type of business need a wide area network and uh, we have a new type of network which is a campus area network you might think a campus area network would be a smaller network than the, a metropolitan area network however campus have so many computing devices so many computers because campus have many dorms they have many classroom so a college campus most of the time have a very large network most larger than a metropolitan area network and some some college and universities they have campus everywhere in the state and some of them even have school outside the country so when you collect all the location all those campus together that give you a campus area network does require a an enterprise network which is different from a a regular home or business network because they require much more equipment to handle a network like a campus area network and uh, they have a personal area network a personal area network is when you have a small network like if you have a few devices in your office such as a printer you can have a laptop a a if if you um, tablet and your cell phone you connect all of this in your small office this is a personal area network so as i said we have local area network we have wide we have wireless local area network we have wide area network we have metropolitan area network you we have personal area network and we have campus area network so a LAN, as I explained, is a small network located in one geographical area. It's not like in a small area like you have a pop and mom business. A network like this can cover a, a school. A network like this uh, can uh, cover a hospital. As long all the computers are in one area, you have a local area network. And most of the time, the local area network has only one source to get the internet service provided. So they, that means the internet come in one place and all of those computers are attached to one switch or maybe two or three switch. And all of them are connected to one router. If you look at the IP address in all computers in the local area network, it's likely all of them is going to have the same network ID. The only thing that will be different is the host ID. So we will talk in other presentation, we will talk further about IP address. Now, I'm going to stop the presentation right here, but for this topic, as I said, I'm going to divide it in many presentations. So right after this one, we're going to have the next presentation.